Hello everybody, I'd like to thank you for showing some interest in my Benchmade Axis Alignment Tool which I personally make here in my shop with these dirty hands which I should have washed but anyways I wanted to make this video to show you guys how to use the tool um, in case there's some confusion and to be honest a video is a lot more explanatory than just a bunch of words on the website so first off I'm gonna mention that Benchmade has made access lock tools starting with this the McHenry Williams and they continue to use the same design today and ever since they've come out with the access lock knives they've used one of two different uh, pivot or pin styles so they usually have a big knife and a small knife and so this one is the 710 I have my 705 is unfortunately at home not with me here at the shop but um, this is the mini bug out and it uses the smaller pin and the regular bug out actually uses the smaller pin too so the smaller pin is actually more common and popular uh, if you look across the knives but say a, a griptilian would have the bigger one whereas the mini griptilian would have the smaller one so with that in mind I made my tool and this one is one of the ones that I just took right out of the package I made about 270 of them at first and this one was actually packaged and I just unpackaged it to use it as a master to show you guys um, I've used this one for I don't know maybe three months now and you can see some wear on it it's not too bad it's typical and I painted it so that way I have about I don't know about hundreds of these laying around and I don't want to get this one confused so I painted it with some layout fluid um, but anyways, so this one was out of the first batch that I made by hand and recently I bought a CNC machine and this one I made tonight. I made about 50 of them tonight and you can see they're nice and good quality. The CNC machine makes things go a lot faster so I can make more should anyone want to buy a big quantity. Anyways, um, so as I was saying, Benchmade makes two different sizes of pins and you can see this tool accommodates both sizes. It has a big side and a small side and they just it, within one tool I can accomplish work on all bench made access knives um, maybe at a later date if anyone wants separate tools maybe one big tool and one small tool so that way you don't get them confused or if you want to put a handle on them or something maybe message me let me know we can work something out I'm totally flexible and since I make my own stuff you know work with me almost anything can be achieved but um, with that being said let's get back to showing you how to use this tool to make a knife so um, here I'll show you this one in case anyone's wondering this one's brand new as of tonight never been used never been touched I think I put it through the knife once just to test make sure the fit was how I wanted it so We'll use this knife to, or this tool to reassemble the knives, and you'll see how much wear it gets in a couple of uses. It's superficial, so you don't have to worry about it. But um, first things first, whenever you take apart the the knife, you're going to use a screwdriver to, of course, remove the screw from the pin. And what I usually do, instead of actually using the tool to push the pin out, which you can use but I usually just end up using unscrewing it like one or two turns and pushing with the screwdriver because that's a better contact area and you might not it'll probably reduce any opportunity for mushrooming out the pin as if that's actually going to happen however I did notice on my 710 since it's been used for for a long time I mean I've had this probably 10 years already um, it's starting to show where and the blade is actually starting to wear a groove into the pin itself so it makes it kind of difficult to push with the tool so that's why I usually end up just using the screwdriver but here I'll try anyways there you go tool comes out you can see right here there's a nice groove starting to wear in this pin so take that for what it is it's an old knife but as you can see it pushes it out just fine I would have used the screwdriver to get it started because sometimes they're hard if you haven't done it in a long time. But anyways, we'll here pull it out, take out all my washers. There we go. 
I just actually greased this a few days ago. But anyways, so what you do is you take one washer, take the other washer. I usually try to hold them aligned well enough or I'll push them forward because that way whenever I push the knife on top, it'll kind of try to line it. But the main thing to focus on here is you can see light through here. If you can see light through here, you can get the pin through and since it has this taper and then this taper, it'll actually just push things out of the way and get them aligned as you push it through. And the next thing is you got to look for this, this flat here and that flat will index on the flat that's inside the knife. And if you look carefully, there's the flat down here and it transcribes from the, from one scale to the other. So it makes this flat part, which the pin also uses to index on. So that way, whenever you have it in here and you put the screw in, this just doesn't spin freely. It, it actually, it gets retained or, or prevented from spinning by lining up with that, that D down there. So to continue my presentation, so you get the, the washers in and you line it up, push it in through here and you get it close and as you can see here like in my pictures on my pages you can see there's light coming through here now at this point you're going to want to decide which way you want the pin to come through do you want to come through on this side or this side and another thing to consider is which hand you're going to be using to push the pin through um i'm personally left-handed i don't know or if it even matters for most people, but I like to push the pin through this side. So because I'm going to do that, I'm gonna stick the alignment through tool through from the other side because the tool's gonna, to, you're gonna push the tool out with the pin. Now, if I wanted the, the pin to be on this side, I would take and I put the alignment tool through this side. So that's just something to keep in mind. But as you can see, I've, I've been, talking for a while and the air gap is starting to get smaller it's starting to disappear but that's okay I'm gonna look for on the tool the bigger side because this is a bigger pivot if I was doing one of these uh, bug outs I would use the smaller side but um, another thing to think about is whenever you're trying to figure out because if you don't know immediately and it takes a few uses to actually get used to the tool um, to determine if the the side you're using is the big or small if you have a small one the the big uh smaller taper will not fit through or on the pin only the small one will fit on the smaller pin unfortunately the small one will of course fit on the bigger pin but whenever you push it on you can see that the pin is actually bigger than the the tool itself so it'll be pretty evident but here, I'll show you what it will look like on this. I'll just put the knife down for now. But um, so here's the big one, the big side of the tool. And this is the pin from my 710, which is the bigger version of the two pins that Benchmade uses. And if you look, so you're going to put it inside there. And it fits in perfectly, nice and snug. There's a little wiggle room in case you need to make circles, which I'll demonstrate later. But you can see the pin and the tool itself are machined almost perfectly. And this is the reason why the tool is actually very useful is because it keeps everything aligned and the pin has no trouble sliding through. So anyways, back to putting my knife back together. So you can see here, I can still see a little bit of daylight. So I'll take the pin, come up through the bottom and you can see the tip has just found the spot. I'm just gonna jiggle it and put it through. And right now, I can let go pretty much hands-free, not hands-free, but I can be very relaxed about this because right now the pin or the, the, the taper is keeping everything aligned. So my big concern at this point is getting this flat lined up with the flat on the knife. And I know on my knife that the flat faces the bottom. So I'll face this at the bottom. But another thing that's gonna keep it from sliding through is the lock bar it's pushing on the knife to keep everything out of alignment it's not it's just pushing because it 
it needs to push for locking purposes. But while doing that and assembling, it pushes the blade out of alignment. And th that's pretty much the primary difficulty about putting together the Benchmade knife. However, since I have the, the pokey bit through, I can be relaxed. Just go here and pull back on this, the Omega Springs and the lock bar. And it'll see if you notice it went up a little bit because it was down here. And all I did was just pull back and it just it just releases that tension. Now, the reason why it's not just sliding through is because my D, my flat is not aligned perfectly with the D. So all I got to do is with my left hand, just jiggle until I find that flat and it slides through. Easy as that. So now, as you can see, I'm just holding onto the tool. I don't even need to hold onto the tool because the lock bar is pushing on the blade so much that it is just pushing on it like the pin. It's not going to fall through. I can actually, if I want to do something now or put it down, take a break or just, I can be relaxed about it. I don't have to stress. I don't have to worry about everything being aligned because everything is aligned and is going to remain in line until I push the pin through. Well, even then it's still going to be aligned. So right now everything's relaxed. All I got to do, pick up the pin, look for the flat, Look at the flat on the tool. Um, another thing to be worried about now is this blade is just very sharp. Um, I tend to put my knife together with the blade closed. Uh, another technique that I found that I like with these two um, bug outs is their pin lines up on the top. If you can see, the flat is on the top on these ones. And that makes things a little different. Whatever, it's no big deal. Um, what I usually do for these, and I'll, I'll do a demonstration of this on this video. I know it's going to be long, but it'll be worth it if you're interested. Um, as I just pull back on the, um, the lock bar and let the blade just drop and just let it, just let it relax down there. And, and then I put it through. Um, I'll demonstrate that here in a second. But we'll get this guy back together. So flat, put the pin on the, the guiding I call it the nipple, but the guiding nipple. Uh, line up the two flats. I hold with my pointer finger and I hold the tool with my the rest of my hand. And there's two ways to go about this. I'm gonna show you the way that I do it. Um, I just, now that I have this stable, everything's aligned. I just pull back on the Omega Springs or the lock bar and it just slides through and I just jiggle until it comes through. Now, of course, you put the screw in, tighten it to your own flavor. If you like it drop shutty or whatever, that's on you. Um, another way to do this is, I'll push this back out. Like I said, that pin is worn out, but there you go. So I line it back up. Now say you, you're having a little bit of difficulty with, like I said, like earlier where you have one hand here, you have one hand on the tool, and then another hand over here on the stuff. If this seems like too much work, you know, trying to coordinate everything, that's fine too. Um, one of the beauties of the tool is all you gotta do is push down and of course, just jiggle and do circles. I'll push with this hand and I'll just do circles until everything just lines up. And there you go, it's a little bit more wear on the tool, but here I'll show you what it looks like now. Um, as you can see, yeah, just a little bit of wear, but I mean, it's not, it's not worse. It's going to just be fine. Um, do that over and over. I'll do that again real quick. Push it through and line it up. Push with one hand, jiggle with the other. I got to get the pin lined up too. There you go. And just like that. Of course, once you do that, it's just gonna be fine. Um, here we go, my Benchmade bug out. We'll use the smaller side. Um, here we go, it's, alignment is on the top. So I'll just pull, it comes out, it's a lot newer knife. So the pin's not gonna be too res resistant. Um, same thing as before. Now the problem with the bug out that I have with mine is I usually try to keep a small screwdriver handy because you need to sometimes push these tiny, tiny washers back in place. Um, there we go. I use this 
small little craftsman uh like eyeglass type screwdriver so we'll take this apart there we go come on out guys okay so same thing but these ones are substantially smaller so here we go i get them lined up not even really lined up i try to push them forward so that way the action of the scales pushing on them push them aligned so here we go push that and of course they're not going through no big deal um if you can if you see here i got this washer i can see light through i can see light through the blade i'm going to flip it over you can see this washer is sticking out over here it didn't make it through so i'm going to use this tiny little screwdriver to help push it into place there you go you can see it's coming through and I'm just gonna push with the blade a little bit nope that didn't work that's fine and you can see there now I can see light through it now <clears throat> I'm gonna do it this way because I prefer it so I again once you see light through everything you take the tool poke it inside push everything it lines up most ways but up until the shoulder and as you can see here I don't have this flat aligned with the flat because it's facing down it needs to be facing the top side and I can feel it kind of pushing in already um, I could brute force it but the best thing to do is just pull back on the lock bar slide it through no big deal here's the flat up here here's the flat right here I'm just gonna take it so keep tension on one hand, hold the tool so it doesn't go flying with the other, release tension with that, and that's why I usually let the blade drop, it dropped on my hand there. So I'm just going to relax and just drop it there. So here we go, line up the flat there, and just push the tool through, jiggle, and that's it. Easy as pie. Here we go, you can see, almost nowhere at all, yeah. So I'm going to do that again, push it out, and we'll do it the, the, less, the less nice way to the tool. So again, I'm just not even going to use the lock bar. It's not going to be part of the equation other than forcing, forcing everything and making it tight. I'm going to push on the pin and jiggle the, the tool and make small circles so that way it pushes everything out and the pin can slide easier so in just jiggle and that's it simple as that takes used to be a difficult job usually involved cussing swearing throwing stuff across the room losing the washers a few times and turns it into a 45 second or one minute task uh, thank you again for your interest in my tool um, if you have any customizations or suggestions requests by all means message me i'm usually inclined to helping people especially since they're fellow knife owners and with that again i thank you for your time